Hello, my name is Francesca Nash. I've been a National Herbalist Association of Australia member for quite a long time now, many years, can't count them still. Uh, and I've been in practice for more than 30 years. And my main area of practice is in preconception healthcare and fertility. And what I find in my clinic over and over again these days is that many of the couples coming to me who are trying to conceive are actually in an older age bracket. And this is for many reasons. Some of them have been having career opportunities that they can't pass up. Others have come to new relationships later in life. But over and over again, we have people very frightened that their age is going to mean that they cannot have children. And of course, the risks are greater. Fertility is lower. Risks are higher, both to the health of the mother and the child. And this is because of all sorts of issues to do with aging and to do with um, the general environmental pollution that affects fertility and affects DNA and that we're all exposed to on a daily basis. I could not practice in my clinic without the use of herbal medicine. I use a lot of nutrition but I use herbal medicine almost exclusively to treat the conditions that are affecting the fertility of mothers and fathers who are looking to conceive. And this can be for obvious reproductive issues and it can also be for detoxification issues. Trying to detoxify them from their ongoing experience of exposures to the various toxins that have mutagenic, teratogenic and endocrine disruptive effect on their fertility and the health of their pregnancy and their baby. And as they get older these effects of course are greater. They've lived longer, they've been exposed to more stuff. Now in herbal medicine we have a unique possibility to do something about this. And we have dealt with people who have no fertility at all because of their exposures to high levels of radiation, to high levels of heavy metals, to high levels of chemicals that they are exposed to in their work, in their play or at their homes. And we can use herbal medicine working through the liver, working through the gut, working through the whole digestive process and with remedies that have been used in some really extreme cases like people who were present at Chernobyl and had no fertility left and that we treated well and now have happy children. So we can use herbal medicine to treat these people who have been contaminated in their lives in a way that has made this even more difficult for them to conceive and increase the risks that they have as they get older for their children and their pregnancies to be at risk. Of course, the other thing that happens as they get older is that their hormones start to diminish. Ovarian activity in the woman means that oestrogen is going down, difficulties with progesterone and oestrogen, difficulties with the whole pituitary ovarian axis, with men difficulties with their testosterone. And of course, as they get older, these in things increase, and often the only option that they're given is to go to IVF. Now, of course, IVF is wonderful technology, but it doesn't deal with the underlying problems. It's basically a transport system, getting the right things in the right place, and it's a way of forcing ovulation out of the ovaries or selecting the right sperm, the only one that looks good. Now, of course, you can't tell from that whether these eggs and sperm are actually contributing what needs to be contributed to a healthy conception. But if you want to have a healthy conception, you need to prepare before conception for both parents, and you need to look at the age of both parents. Any woman or man who is 40 or over is going to have increased risks to do with their fertility and their child's health. Now, herbal medicine can help us detoxify these parents through the liver with our wonderful liver herbs, through the phase one and phase two detox through the liver, through our herbs that help with radiation exposure effects and to eliminate chemicals and other toxins through natural remedies. Having done that, we then need to support their hormonal and their ovarian and their testicular activity and their uterine health. And we may very well need to deal with their thyroid and their immune system and all sorts of other aspects. Anti-inflammatory herbs have a big role to play and immune support as well. Both of these are very, very problematic when it comes to miscarriage risk. So as we get into these older groups which are presenting more and more for conception information, we have nutrition and we have herbs and we can make a huge difference. In the woman, of course, oestrogen is becoming low. 
We have herbs such as Shatavari. We have herbs such as false unicorn root, which we use sparingly because of its endangered um, status, but a wonderful herb. We have black cohosh. We have saw palmetto, which is often ignored, but it traditionally has been used for small and underactive ovaries. So that's not just for the blokes. We have, of course, black cohosh, which is an estrogen modulator, and we have wild yam. We have so many wonderful herbs to work with that can correct these hormonal imbalances and deficiencies that are particularly prevalent in the older mother. As I said, I've been working with this for a long time and these older parents are coming more and more. This is becoming a really big issue. When I started out in practice about 35 years ago, it simply wasn't such a big issue. Um, people were not as, didn't have as many fertile problems and were not as old when they came to their first children. But more and more I'm finding this to be an issue. So when we started out in the 70s, things were much gentler. I started up the first holistic health centre in Sydney, or well in Australia I think, in Paddington, the Village Healing and Growth Centre. Things were very touchy-feely around then. We were called the Pillage Feeling and Grope Centre as a nickname. <laughs> These days I think we're known as the Centre for Nasty Taste because of the herbal medicine that we get everybody to take. But people get used to that very quickly and I find that after I've finished treating them for preconception and fertility and they have conceived and they have a healthy child without big problems of allergy and asthma and behaviour problems and learning difficulties, they have made major changes in their lifestyle. They have eaten completely differently and they continue to do this well into their family lives and they owe a lot of this to the way that we have worked with them with nutrition and with herbal medicine. Perfect. Yeah.